4,370 pounds. What I kind of call an essential series, the J-Flight SLX 212 here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a great little couples camper with no slides, no carpet, and no nonsense, but still has all of the construction that you'd find basically all the way up through a Jayco fifth wheel, inclusive of the industry's best two plus three year RV warranty. I've always kind of liked this camper because First of all, Jayco did it a little different from most all other brands, and I'll talk about that when we get to our seating in the back. But secondly, there's a lot of people, a lot of people, I think an underestimated number of people who are what I call slide skeptics or people who are just wanting a more simplistic camping experience. There's a lot of people who get a little nerved up about a slide out there, afraid it could it be a leak point or something like that. And I, you know what, there's so many different RVs out here. There's there's definitely something that'll work for your comfort level. And that's part of what you need to purchase on is your comfort zone. Um, so there's a lot of people like, look, I just want something simple, but I want it reliable. Well, you've got the industry's best warranty here, that two plus three year warranty, nobody else is matching, especially at this class and price point. There's no one coming even close to it. So you've got the peace of mind, you've got the build quality. And what's nice is with the updates they've put into this, they've given us some really nice eye appeal. Before, it, you were buying a basic box, but it looked like a basic box. Now it has something you can really be proud of here. There's a couple key differences though I wanna point out. First of all, the fact that this has a six foot nine interior, most starter class campers or basic class campers, however you wanna think of it in your head, have a uh, just a uh, traditional six and a half foot interior. So this is taller and that's really going to make a difference in terms of your storage space. The overall perception of how big the camper is and on a no slide camper and a short one, um, the uh, extra height really makes a difference there. Also, you might notice how we have central AC up here. And not only that, but every single one of our air vents can be both opened and turned individually. So you always maintain full control over your air system. Similarly, and I'm gonna flash some light, so if you're sensitive to that, please be advised. Um, your like kitchen lights here, they're on their own little switch circuit. You can control your lights over your seating individually. And again, at a basic class and price point, that's not the kind of thing you run into. And our lights are all still individually controlled if you are so inclined. Like maybe you've got a grandkid sitting back here in uh, or pardon me maybe trying to sleep back here or something like that and uh you know you don't want to have them blinded by the light now speaking of that that's also one of the cool things here they went with split seating that opens up into a uh a great sleeper seating arrangement if we take a look here you can see that the uh, uh you know windows have those blackout shades both the sofa and the dinette can fold down into extra sleeping spaces plus Let's acknowledge the fact that this thing has windows all over the place. Now, a lot of brands build a layout very similar to this, and most of the time, the RV industry builds a layout like this with just a rear U dinette. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of people like the idea of having a split seating zone right here. What's kind of cool is it makes it very social. It does kind of create a more easy in, easy out seating arrangement. Technically, you have seating for more people now. Um, also, they've got windows, and they're all cross breeze windows, and notice how they're all framed out all over this thing. So you can see wherever you're going the entire time. But what's great is what they've done with the storage here. Since they didn't have to deal with the fact that like you'd have to climb over the Udinet to access overhead cabinet storage, they were able to add a couple overhead cabinets that maybe couldn't be present at least easily on other brands. Also, you can see over here next to the refrigerator, we have six foot nine of pantry storage space. So you've got a taller ceiling with a taller pantry. Now, I wanna point out something down here. Normally under the sofa, you would find storage. Obviously that's not the case here. Because the RV is so small, they had to get kind of creative with where they put some mechanical system stuff. They had to put their uh, the water heater and the uh, furnace back here. But what's cool is that means the water heater is now very close to both the kitchen and the bathroom. So if you're gonna boondock, that's less water you're wasting waiting for that hot water to get to you. Now you can see how there's a heat vent coming out of the face of that sofa. Since this is not a slide out camper, 
There are no vents in the floor. It is easy cleaning, carpetless, pet-friendly, kid-friendly, spill-friendly, clumsy husband, resistant. <coughs> anyway. Also, a more recent update. If you look at the end of the dinette while we're talking about storage, they have now included storage doors on the uh, bench ends of all their dinettes in this J-Flight, which is, I think, a really smart update. A lot of people are going to be very, very happy to see. Another thing this the, the Jayco version of this does with that split seating is it gives us a larger campsite window here. So you actually get to overlook your campsite instead of looking at the neighbors. Now while we're talking about all this storage, I want to point out a few things. It is all pocket screwed cabinetry. So you can actually feel where the one piece screws into the other one. And these are all hardwood cabinet door frames. And I like how they put kind of just a little bit of that shape and layering in here to give it a, a little bit of texture and character. And while we're up in this neck of the woods, it is uh, admittedly, like you look at this, it's kind of a simple entertainment center, but it has the ability to do quite a bit. So this is Bluetooth, this is stereo. It is actually still DVD, which a lot of brands have dropped off their DVD support. Jayco is maintaining that. But it's very high def expansion friendly. You've got HDMI face mounted plugs here. You've got uh, your uh, this open pocket up top, which would be great for like a little phone charge kind of segment or something like that. Because the USB plug here is made just for charging. The other thing that makes this good for is if you plug in a Fire Stick or a Roku Stick, ta-da, you're streaming friendly. And you might notice, even here, at a very basic camper segment, Jayco is still uh, running HDMI wiring. Now, that's something you could probably do after market, but you would have to find a way to fish that wire through the cabinetry, which it, a lot of people don't realize, that is not... Uh, the same panel as that. There's actually a hollow little uh, pocket in there, and that's where this wiring is run. That's actually where a lot of wires hide in the RV industry. So you could theoretically do that, but it would not be easy. And Jayco's done the hard work for you so that it looks clean and simple. Now flip it around the other way and continuing on with our storage, you notice that extra overhead cabinet there that we started looking at. Again, without a U-Dinette right there, that's one of those extra things Jayco is able to incorporate in addition to the traditional kitchen space that you'll find right here. But with the trailer being a little taller, they were able to make it a little bit bigger. You'll find in the kitchen, uh, the uh, J-Flights all have a sealed edge press membrane countertop, and that uh, flush mount stove top right there built into it gives us a decent amount of prep space. I don't want to miss all the storage that is down here below that though. And you see those full extension plywood drawers. Again, plywood, not particle board, not uh, you know with a sticker wrap. That's the kind of primary construction materials that you get in a Jayco. And even here at their most basic product segment in the J-Flight SLX series. But what's nice is when you put that all away, it gives it a nice clean look. And you've still got an easily navigable walkway over here. And that's one of the things that I like about this sort of split middle kitchen bathroom concept even though you can see that there is a, it, it is technically an open concept it does provide a measure of privacy between the front bed area and the uh, rear seating or sleeping area back here so as we uh, come up here and approach the bedroom one of the things that I want to kind of point out is the fact that you can see how there's a large breeze window on the uh, uh, either side of the bedroom now, uh, they are fully framed out, which again is just one of those nice little visual touches they put in. I think the primary purpose of that is to be attractive visually. But you notice down here how those uh, pleated shade anchors are now, they have something more substantial that they can bite into. And I think it's, it's the reason that we just don't have shade issues. Now, I want to have a little discussion with you here, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, bedspread that we've almost always included on one of these Jayco campers. It's actually an optional piece of equipment, and it's actually not incredibly inexpensive. It actually runs near like 100 bucks. And this year, I decided I wasn't going to do them. Now, I've got mixed feelings about it, and I would really like your input here. And here's why I say that, because the bedspread looks better. I think it makes the camper look prettier and pretty. People, you know, they like pretty stuff. They like to buy pretty stuff. But 99 out of 100 people never use that bedspread. So... I would really like your opinion. Are you okay with the fact that all you're looking at is a bare mattress and saving a couple bucks? Or would you rather 
have the bed look pretty when you're buying it, and then have a worthless, uh, you know, uh, uh, bedspread that you're probably not going to use. Anyway, I talked longer about that than I meant to, but you get the idea. Both side stands are wide open and have household outlets. Now, they've done an interesting thing here. The uh, left-hand uh, closet is an actual hanging wardrobe closet. Oops, somebody killed my power on me, so uh, we're going to finish up our little bed segment here, and then we'll go from there. Um, anyway, they probably just thought I left my battery box on the tongue and we're doing me a favor. Neither here nor there. We've got, you ever be so helpful you're a pain in the neck? I feel like I'm that way to my wife all the time, every day. So up front here, we've got a dresser on this side and a hanging closet on the other side. Now what else is kind of cool is this comes with a handy inside-outside TV bracket right here. Um, another thing that's, uh, well, should you choose to add a TV, I guess you call that a TV bracket. I guess right now it's just a bracket without a TV. Is it really a TV bracket? Sounds like more of a philosophical conversation. Also, another really cool thing on these J-Flights is the fact that uh, even here at their most basic SLX level, they still have bed struts to make that plywood deck easier to access to get to that storage. They don't make you have to, you know, do the lift and grunt and jerk method. And additionally, when it does come to privacy space, you can see that you do have a curtain here. So again, you do have a visual breakpoint plus the construction of the bathroom over here gives the RV like a very well-defined front bedroom versus rear living area. And oh my gosh, crap, we haven't talked about the bathroom. Let me get in here. Thankfully, the loss of power is not going to affect us as badly in here due to the fact that we have a big skylight and a power vent giving us some uh, pretty plentiful lighting in here. Now, one of the other things to remember is because the RV does have a six foot nine interior, that means it does have a taller shower. And notice that we have a full size skylight, power vent fan, and surround paneling. That is the kind of stuff, all three of those things are not always found in a more starter or basic or essentials class and price point. Now under that front bed here, in a Jayco you're going to get a full big pass-through compartment. What's nice is they give you extra large doors on both sides. You can also see how that storage goes right under the bed. So if you want a partition wall right there, which is not a hard thing to do, you can easily just add one. Otherwise, no big deal. You know, you just have a big wide open storage compartment. We also are greeted by a power awning that is easy tilt, has an LED light, auto rain dump, and speakers in the awning arms themselves. The heads up top there is actually where your speakers are located, so they point down toward your campsite. Speaking of down, you can see we can also build these now with the Moride stable steps, which previously were unavailable. We have so many requests for those here at Halo RV. We've made that part of our standard build on uh, these J flights for a couple reasons. One, it's less expensive when you get it done from the factory level, and two, it is now part of the factory warranty as opposed to being an aftermarket item, which now you've got two different people potentially pointing fingers saying, I didn't do it wrong, he did it wrong. Well, we stand behind our work at uh, Halet RV, but the thing is, now we don't have to because now it's factory work. Now as we work our way around, up on the front tongue there, there is a simple side mount solar prep plug. So if you do want to do uh, a little bit of basic camping or you just want to have a battery tender or something like that, it is kind of built in for We got it, that beautiful morning sun coming in, making it a little difficult to do some of my job right now. Now um, all J flights ride on a custom engineered chassis and they're not the only brand that does that but they're the only brand that really seems to do it in this class and category across the board and what i mean by custom engineered is most of the time the tongue of the trailer where the 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 front area right here the a-frame it actually is kind of like welded or bolted on to the bottom of the actual chassis box itself that's not the case here on these j flights it's all integrated what that means is the entire body of the rv is now uh, six inches lower. That means that it has that taller interior without a taller exterior, which I think is pretty darn cool. They have heavy tint on their windows to keep the sun out. That'll help prevent sun fade and keep temperatures down. That's only about a 50-50 feature in this class and price point. There's a lot of RVs that do not tint their windows. Additionally, over here, you can see that we have a full outside shower with hot and cold, not just like a cold water spray port or nothing. Again, in this segment, that is the kind of thing that is often not there. A best in class 
exclusive kind of thing here are the Goodyear Endurance Radials. These are uh, rated for up to 87 miles per hour, which is way faster than you should ever be towing this trailer. And you can see how it has a galvanized steel wheel well above that to keep you protected. The things I've been pointing out, they are potentially seemingly small features, but there's a ton of them. And that is really where the J Flight shines. The things you're going to need, use, see, feel, touch, and want every single day. They've really done a bang up job of it. You might notice how we can finally build these with that optional roof ladder on the back here. That is something I've been asking for at Halo RV from Jayco um, for years. And I am so glad that they are finally fulfilling that. Now they, they didn't change the construction of the trailer. All they did was add backers in the rear wall and say, yes, you can now add a ladder. But uh, it's awesome that you can apply this now. And remember when we were talking about the bedspread? You wanna hear something that'll blow your mind? That roof ladder basically costs the same as a bedspread. So which one would you rather have? A bedspread or a ladder? Personally, I opted for the ladder because I think it's something you'll actually use. Most people have told me the only thing they would really use the factory bedspreads for is to, uh, you know, roll up a body and dump it into a river. <laughs> Um, we have all LED tail and marker lights. This was the first RV in its class to do that. Many still do not. Also, our uh, main tail lights here have reverse travel lighting segments. That's what the little white sort of gem looking thing is in the middle of that. It'll give us a bright white glow. So whether you're, uh, you know, you need your spotter to, you know, have a clear line of sight back here, or if you, uh, you know, want to utilize that backup camera prep either way. Now, once again, we've got good window coverage, especially over here on the camp side. That spare tire is there. Hopefully it's a silver lining to an otherwise cloudy day, but understand I hope you have nothing but sunshine on your travels. A lot of metaphors getting flung around there real quick. We talked about the stable steps, but I mentioned in the bedroom how you have an inside-outside TV bracket, and then I got really philosophical about, is it a TV bracket if it doesn't have a TV on it, blah, 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 but you get the idea. It can just easily mount right out here so that it's uh, kind of here when you want it, gone when you don't, or you could leave a TV on it and have one screen float inside or outside. Now there isn't a whole lot to look at once we're on top of here. You just got a stark white roof membrane which is actually going to help keep the temperature down on this RV very nicely since white reflects more sun than it absorbs. And the fact that they're very heavy handed with their sealants. Now those are things you can see, but I like to get up here, especially now that they have a ladder on the back, um, <clears throat> to point out a couple things that you can't see. First of all, I'm walking on plywood, which sounds like a song from Katrina and the Waves, but it is not. Um, the uh, difference here is that most RVs you're walking on OSB roof decking, which is fine. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. There's just a difference between good and better, and this is in that better class. That's why they have such a successful sales record over, since 2005 and counting, J Flight's been the number one selling thing in its class. It's, it's terribly impressive. Um, so you have plywood roof deck instead of OSB. They have heavier roof trusses with thicker nail plates, which that might not mean much to you until you actually see RV production. Long story short, there's more fasteners holding it all together. And what that means in English is a, at least a 50% higher uh, weight rating on the roofing. Um, another thing is that their uh, wall studs are 16 inches on center with hand tucked, hand glued insulation so that it can't just like slide down in transit. Now, pardon my footprints all over here. The good news is they won't be here when you take the RV home because one of the many things that we do for our clients at no additional charge is wash the RV top to bottom, inside and out. So uh, it's kind of a, a good segue to another conversation here. You see all these different new RVs, 500 some odd of them or whatever it is that we happen to have on hand at a given point. Um, we go through every one of these. We will wash it inside and out. Uh, we will uh, show you how it works. We have water and electric surge protectors, propane battery, all that stuff. We don't charge extra for that at Halo RV. We have you set up for success from the start. So you can give us a call. We do it all. The only thing we don't do is hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.